Good afternoon, everybody. It just turned afternoon here, just a little couple minutes after um, noon. Okay, um, today I'm going to be reading from Romans 13, verses 8 to 10. Um, then I will share with you whatever God gives me to share with you, okay? Um, the passage is, Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Okay, first of all, we need to define love because this is not talking about human-based love that is uh, largely based in our emotions or in the one that we are loving because uh, uh, it's easier to love people who love us back, right? <laughs> um, so um, anyway, the, the word uh, uh, has to do with... Um, it properly means to to prefer uh to prefer what god prefers that's that's the main thing it's 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 a based in moral preference um it has to do with uh what god prefers righteousness and holiness and godliness and kindness and compassion on um and uh, honesty and morality on everything that it did uh, is the opposite of adultery and murder and stealing, you know, um, that, that that's, that's what he prefers and that's what we're to prefer. So if we're loving, we're loving others with a love that prefers what God prefers and which comes from God because God is love, um, then um, we're not going to do any, anything to harm our neighbors, um, not willfully. Uh, because we are loving with this kind of love. Um, it, it says in uh, the interlinear uh, that it, it means to prefer to, to live through Christ. Uh, it's about embracing God's will, choosing his choices, and obeying them through his power. Um, it means actively doing what the Lord prefers with him by his power and direction. Uh, it's always defined by God. A discriminating affection which involves choice and selection. Uh, how loving, preferring uh, is Christ living his life through the believer. Okay, so that's a long definition there. But I think you get that. The idea is that oh, in our English translations, it just says love. You know, well, for us, love can mean a lot of different things. Um so we're not supposed to owe anyone anything except to love them and to love with this kind of love uh, that is, is, uh, comes from God, you know, and, and, and honors God and, and obeys the word of God and prefers what God prefers. And um, so it's, it's a love, you know, where we're actually following the Lord and we're obeying him and uh, we're working according to his commands and so we're, we're loving others you know with his love which is within us if if we are true followers of Jesus Christ uh, and it says um, the one who loves another has fulfilled the law now Jesus uh, summarized uh, the whole law and the prophets into two two laws and the first one was is to love the Lord our God with all our heart mind and soul and strength, you know, with our whole, our whole being, uh, every part of us, you know, over to love him. And then the scriptures teach that to love God is to obey him, that if we don't obey him, that we don't love him. If we say we love him, uh, but or we, that we know, even that we know him, but yet we don't walk in obedience to his commands and the scriptures say we, we don't know him. Um, and uh and we don't love him so so love is obeying the lord and if we're obeying the lord uh 
then we're not going to be, you know, doing willful harm. And I say willful harm because I can't say that we might not accidentally do something uh, that that might hurt somebody else, you know, w w without knowing it. And, and I, I'm in no way... Uh, <laughs> giving credence to those who just make excuses for their sin and say, oh, I don't know, but they've known for like forever, you know, so it's, 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 just, it's just a fake excuse. Uh, so I'm definitely not giving credence to that. But there are times when when we might offend somebody, you know, uh, or, or hurt their feelings or something and, and not even realize at all that we hurt their feelings. And, um, and, um, and, and I'm, I'm sure this love does no wrong isn't just about hurting people's feelings that this is you know actually sinning against people but i i'm, I'm just saying that you know uh that I, I had you know willful willful wrong uh just like the scriptures talk about uh those who deliberately and uh, habitually sin against god or those who are not going to in inherit e eternal uh, king or the kingdom of heaven you know, um, it, it's not saying that, oh, that we can't ever sin, you know, we shouldn't sin. I mean, it, it says that, you know, that we should not live in sin. We should not walk in sin. Sin should not be our habit. You know, we we should uh, avoid sin. Uh, it, it's throw it off, cast it off, you know, it, uh, get it out of our lives, you know. But um, but we might sin sometime. And... Um, and we don't lose our salvation just because, you know, for every time we sin. And I know some people teach that, you know. Uh, and then there are people who teach that that we can never lose our salvation no matter how much we sin. And, and that's not true either. You know, the scriptures are real clear on that. So um, anyway, um, so if we love others with this kind of God godlike love that comes from God, that honors God, that obeys the Lord, um, and that uh, walks in His ways and uh, lives through Christ, and and that prefers, you know, holiness and righteousness and godliness, you know, um, then then we have fulfilled, we have fulfilled the law. Um, then it talks about uh, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandments and I find that uh, sexual immorality and sensuality and adultery, they seem to top most of these lists of uh, sins. Uh, and there, there are several uh, lists in the scriptures uh, that talk about the, the kinds of sins that, um, that, well, we should avoid all sin, you know, but it, it lists uh, some that are, I think, the more predominant ones or, or the more serious ones, adultery. Uh, our, our 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 marriage to Christ is compared in the scriptures to uh, our marriage to our our spouses, and um, I, 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 and and uh, we can commit adultery, spiritual adultery against our Lord, uh, as well as uh, uh, um, uh, adultery against our spouses, and even uh, even that adultery can be uh, not physically done, but mentally or emotionally, um, uh, uh, emotional affairs, uh, looking at pornography, uh, murdering. Uh, Jesus compared uh, hate to murder. If you, you hate, uh, you can steal in all different kinds of ways. It isn't just taking possessions. You can steal uh, uh, people's spouses away from them, you know, so... There's all different kinds of ways, um, but all of those are summarized together in this commandment uh, because if if we love, truly love, and there's a lot of people who say, I love you, but then they go and they do bad things, you know, so that's not love. But if we truly love others with this kind of love, we're not going to do those things. We're not going to do those horrible things against other people. And that, that is a wonderful thing, you know, because, um, you know, people can voice, I love you, you know, but, and then if they turn around and commit adultery and, and, and hate you and talk bad about you, you know, then that, that's not love then. Um, 
anyway, uh, so if we're truly loving others with this kind of love, we're not going, we're not going to deliberately sin against them. We're not going to do wrong against them. So we need to, we need to uh, allow the love of Christ to work in our hearts and lives, and we need to love with that kind of love um, because uh, we we should not, as the followers of Jesus Christ, ever want to hurt other people. Uh, we may offend them with the gospel, and, and that's okay, because that's really doing what's for their good, is to share the gospel with them. Uh, but uh, we, we don't want to, we don't want to hurt other people uh, needlessly, you know, um, and so we, we need to make sure that we are, we're loving other people with, with this kind of love, okay? All right, that's the encouragement for today. And uh, until next time, okay? All right, bye.